hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so today i'm going to discuss about new features in apex in summer 23 release so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side and uh, please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new so let's get started latest three features inside this summer 23 release oh okay so let me open my debug console so now you can see my debug console and uh, open execute in this window and here like set also have like iterations right over the collections so set also we implement the iterable interface inside this apex so how to do that let me show you here so first of all let me create one set of a string and let's say letters equal to new set of a string and after that you have to mention your string b c and then you have to close it debug this one so system dot debug you have to print this under the string class we have join method under this join method we have like iterable object and separator so our iterable have like letters so let me change this letter and here you have to copy this one and paste it in iterable object and separator I want to use separator like hyphen and semicolon so once you write this one just click on this execute button so you will be see the separator as a hyphen in between the characters so here you can see like a hyphen b hyphen c so it means this set also implement the iterable collection that's why you can see this one right suppose i have one list let me show you the this list here list of a string like strs equal to new list of a string and then capital a capital B and capital C right semicolon and then let me print it here so system you have to use system dot debug under this debug let me add like string class and this string class have join and same thing you can see here so let me copy this iterable object here and separator as you know I want to separate double hyphen and click on this execute button so you will be see this output as well as this set like this is coming from set this is coming from list so this is how to implement this iterable collection inside the set and list so this is the new feature under summer 23 let me show you how to create this kind of you know custom labels and uh, how to access the five labels queries inside the salesforce oh so first of all under the quick find you have to search like labels once you search labels just click on this custom labels you have to create one custom label if you want to get from the salesforce okay so just click on this or just you can use it existing if you have let's say create a new one and it's time like demo this custom label demo and the value is this is demo custom level in summer 23 and click on this save button now you can see our custom level is created now just go to this developer console open execute anonymous window click on this debug icon click on this open execute anonymous window click on this one and just let me clear it and first of all let me show you the old way how to access the custom level using apex so this is the old way let me add the some comments like old way to access custom level in apex right so previously we can use this code here let's say system dot debug under here we can use this system class sorry this system class dot label dot label name so our label name is we already created like demo so let me copy it paste it here and 
give the semicolon and click on this execute and now you will be see the output here under the debug only now you can see this is demo custom level in summer 23 right but how to write the latest code in summer 23 for the apex so let me add some comment let's say new way to access access custom level in apex so you can access the custom level in the new programmatical way and uh, this is the new syntax to access the custom level inside your apex class or apex code so just you have to do one thing system dot debug under here you have to use like there are too many options they are in this new release use the system dot label dot get this is the new method get to access the custom label and we have to provide three parameter inside this get method like first is namespace second one label and then language so method to we get a custom label optionally specify a language option the language parameter is optional the features now allow the dynamic resolution of the labels names at the runtime including overriding the user current languages if a translation exists for the requested languages previously retrieving levels required co compliant time knowledge of the label api name so now here okay system dot label or just you have to use like label dot get method under this get method we have to provide three parameters first is namespace second is label name so our label name is demo and define the language so we have english language for this uh, you know uh, custom label so you have to select like english here and give the semicolon in the last click on this execute and after some time you will be see the new output and same output not new but in the new another way so here you can see this is for you know a traditional way and this is the new way so let me open here and let me add some comments here right like old way and new way so it's easy to handle it right and provide this one and also new way provide here okay and give single code of this new way like this and click on this execute button here and you will be see the same output why because this is the new approach to access the custom level in a summer 23 so here you can see the old way and new way so this is the code here to access the level inside the apex so this is the first feature inside this summer 23 release and you can use it in your code as you want right so i hope you like this uh, first features and you can implement because l custom level is very most important for us if you are working in translation or any kind of you know like button labels or any static text so always use this labels here so let me move into this second feature and that second feature is related to our query five levels of parent to child relationship in sql query so sql now supports relationship query that uh, travels up to five levels of parent to child records use a single sql query to get parent child records from five different levels this ability is limited to sql query via the rest and soap query calls on the standard and custom objects so how to write it let me show you here so first of all let me close it and click on this query editor here it's already open under this query editor how to write this five level you know like parent to child sql so i'm using here just focus in in this sql query i'm using account contact assets work orders and a work order line items for this hierarchy so let me add let's say select name from which object account object so this is the first level let me add another query under here let's say select last name 
from contacts okay so contacts so this is the second level how to add the third level let me show you here so once you added this one now you have to do one thing here comma and after that this one and you have to write third query third level for the assets so select assets label asset label from which object assets object so assets so this is the third level how to write the fourth level just you have to give the comma and write this SQL here for the work order so select uh, description okay description from which object work orders from work orders right and once you write it again you have to write the fifth level uh, using work order line item object so here you have to give another one that is called select okay line number or line item number line item number from work order line items work order line items so now you can see immediately we have five objects and the par uh, parent object is account and contact assets work item line items and line item number and uh, assets is the child object of this account so let me execute this query and let's see the output so now here you can see like 46 records and here you can see this is the account uh, records under this account record you can see lots of child records and this is the way to write the query in like parent to child in uh, five levels right in SOQL so guys this is the new features you can use it in your code if you need this code so you can write this code SQL query inside your Apex code so hopefully you like this feature okay so this is all about like these two features two new features under summer 23 for Apex so hopefully you like these two features so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is very more informative for us so please like share comments and please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching